Hey, how's it going, astronomyforum.net? Uh, my name is Mike Chartrand from St. Louis. Uh, my username on the forum is Chartram, and uh, I would like to post this video uh, as a how-to, uh, and also maybe kind of uh, stop a lot of uh, my fellow beginners from maybe going out and uh, spending a bunch of unnecessary money uh, on this hobby uh, that they may have the desire to spend. Uh, one of the things that is uh, really tough, especially if you're, uh, you know, doing planetary, lunar, or uh, even deep space object uh, photography, is focus. Um, now, there are a lot of uh, very expensive, uh, very high-tech uh, focusing solutions out there. Um, all of them are amazing. Um, but if you're anything like me with a, you know, kind of a starter grade telescope and all of that, um, it's really hard to justify spending more than your optical tube is worth uh, on focusing media when you can just get one of these uh, known as a Batonoff mask and with that, excuse me, you'll be able to pretty much achieve the best possible focus uh, for your conditions uh, any and every time you use it, whether you're doing visual astronomy or CCD or DSLR photography. Um, so with that, I'm going to do a little how-to and uh, show you how one of these works. Um, a long time ago, uh, one of the very experienced guys on the forum said, Hey man, uh, why don't you just use a Batonoff mask instead of worrying about this, that, and the other. And uh, so I immediately went out and got one. And uh, only recently did I have that aha moment when I finally figured out uh, how exactly uh, a Batonoff mask works. So... Uh, I will basically lead off at this point by telling each and every one of you guys and girls out there that if you are just starting out, uh, whether it be for visual or for uh, photography, get a Batonoff mask. Um, it's worth its weight in gold. And I'll be right back with the, uh, we'll set it up and I'll show you how it works. I have the Batonoff mask installed on my telescope. Uh, it's a Nexstar 5SE Schmidt Cassegrain. The Batonoff mask literally just sits on the front like so and uh and there we go now uh for this demonstration i'm using a uh, uh uh an artificial star on the other side of my house and uh my next image five uh in the prime focus position okay so let's bring it over to the computer all right what you're going to see on your computer uh you may or may not see or uh even in your eyepiece uh, you may or may not see something that looks very similar to this uh i had this uh, grossly out of focus for uh, demonstration purposes. So uh, let's see what happens as we start coming into focus. All right. So the first thing is uh, now that right there is just me walking across the floor. Um, so now I'm going to start coming into focus. Oh, wrong way. So as you see, the image is uh, starting to get smaller. And I'm going to keep working it. All right, and then what? eventually what you're going to see is that it's going to morph into a system of spikes. Okay, now what these spikes are going to do is they're going to kind of make an X, and then there's going to be one, see there's kind of an X, and then there's one big long spike that kind of bisects the X. You'll see that one spike kind of moving uh, through, through the X right there. See that? That... I'm doing it on purpose now. See how that moves? Okay. Now the name of the batten off game is just to get that center spike right there. You want to get that one spike that moves across everything right there to the center. So I'll move it down again. Okay, let me hold on. I'll stop. See? Now you'll see that spike start to move back in. Another thing with Schmidt Cassegrains is that you want to go at least the celestron ones, you want to, you, if you have to focus clockwise, you want to go through focus clockwise and then come back to focus counterclockwise. Something about the uh, primary mirror, because uh, when you're focusing, you're adjusting the primary. Okay, now that's just me walking across the floor. Okay, now as you can see, we've got a uh, pretty, uh, pretty symmetrical pattern right there that looks like that center spike uh, bisects everything pretty well. And uh, see, there's a better way to look at it like that, I suppose. And uh, so that looks pretty good. So now we're going to check it out. 
Okay, I've turned the lights back on in the room uh, where the artificial star is. Um, so now you can kind of see the casing that I built for it. And uh, looks like a looks like there might be some pretty good detail there. Our spikes are still centered. Um, so let me uh, remove the batten off mask and uh, we'll check our focus. Okay, everything looks uh, pretty crystal clear um, to me. Um, I can see uh, lots of uh, texture and stuff in the plastic. I can see the, uh, the embossing. I can see like little scuffs and imperfections. Uh, so that tells me that the uh, focus is about as good as it's going to get. Um, now I can, since I'm you know, using an object inside my house here, um, I can go ahead and bend down a little bit to a, a little bit wider of a field of view. And I can drop the exposure down a hair. That might be too much. But you get the idea. As you can see, uh, all the lines are uh, very crisp and very clear. Um, you know, you can see uh, little uh, imperfections all over the place, as well as, uh, of course, there's going to be a few hot pixels because I'm shooting at something so close. Um, however, uh, you know, this was using a batten off mask, and uh, I've achieved perfect focus. Uh, for nothing more than 20 bucks and uh, so in my opinion you you just can't go wrong with that um, as a note uh, I just took my glasses off and now the image kind of looks a little bit on the hazy side and uh, so this tells me that no matter what my eyes are telling me uh, always trust your batten off mask if the batten off mask puts that center spike right down the middle of that X that is the best focus you're going to get, uh, whether you wear prescription glasses or not. That is the best focus you're going to get. And uh, uh, ultimately, uh, your best focus depends on your seeing conditions, your telescope, collimation, a myriad of other factors. And that batten off mask will absolutely put your focus as good as it could possibly get, given whatever uh, other uh, environmental lim limitations you happen to be dealing with at the time. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I uh, very much hope this helps somebody. Um, I sure wish that uh, I had understood a little bit better uh, about a batten off mask a long time ago. It would have saved me a lot of frustration. And uh, so all you beginners out there, I highly recommend you get one of these. These things are amazing for visual as well as uh, photography. Um, thank you. Happy holidays and clear skies.